Hello, friends. Welcome to the Daily Update from the Aspen Daily News. My name is Oliver Sharp. Very excited to be joined today by Jenna Griswold, the Colorado Secretary of State. Jenna, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's start with uh, the top priorities for your office uh, in a typical year, and then tell us how those are being adjusted during the pandemic. Uh, that's a, a great question. So the Secretary of State is one of our statewide elected officials, uh, and we oversee uh, campaign finance, elections, and then business registration. So our priorities are largely unchanged. Um, we've, of course, had to adjust services and draft contingencies, uh, but we still are providing all of our services and plan to have two great elections coming up here, our statewide primary on June 30th, and then, of course, our general election in November. And Colorado is in a good position for these elections. Uh, we do have vote by mail in Colorado. I think one of five states that currently offers that for all elections. Um, how is that going to play into the upcoming elections? Are you starting to look towards um, just doing a all mail-in uh, election? Or are people still going to potentially be able to vote in person as well? Well, you're exactly right. We are extremely prepared for holding an election during a epidemic. Uh, and a lot of states are taking note and looking for us and looking at our uh, election model to try to replicate it. Uh, so very luckily, we already had our presidential primary. And by the way, we had the largest turnout in the nation. So the largest turnout rate in the nation. Uh, and of Everybody who voted, 1.8 million Coloradans, 97.5% cast their mail ballot. Uh, so mail ballot really works. It drives participation and it allows us to social distance in our elections. Uh, for our upcoming election, we will still have a mix of mail ballots and in-person voting. Uh, it's important to maintain the in-person uh, choices and options for folks who, for whatever reason, cannot vote their mail-in ballot. But we are going to highly encourage Coloradans to update their registration and cast their mail ballot. Uh, and for all your viewers, please go to govotecolorado.gov right now uh, to make your, sure your registration is up to date and your mail-in ballot gets sent directly to your house. Well, Jenna, when we see numbers like that that are so positive and there's such good turnout with uh, the mail-in method, why do you think other states aren't following uh, in Colorado's footsteps there? It seems like it's working pretty well. Uh, it's working extremely well. Um, and I will say a lot of states want to replicate what we're doing in Colorado. Uh, not only did we just have the highest turnout rate for our presidential primary, we consistently lead the nation in high turnout. Uh, we're always fighting with Minnesota for first or second. Um, I will say that about a third of the nation has reached out to us in the last month to get advice about how to scale uh, mail ballot very quickly. Uh, there's a lot of excitement around scaling mail ballot. Uh, with that said, there are a couple logistical issues. Uh, first and foremost is federal funding. Uh, we've been working with the Senate and the Congress, and I'm happy to talk more about our work with them, uh, but specifically on the funding. Uh, and we were able to get $400 million in the last uh, uh, stimulus package for states to be able to use uh, to, to provide elections in 2020. Uh, and a lot of states will be using it for mail-in ballots, um, but it's frankly just not enough money. So we're hoping that uh, Congress fund states further so that they can make sure that all of their citizens, just like ours, are able to vote even in a time of crisis, even during a pandemic. Excellent. And I would love to hear some more about your work with both Senate and Congress. I know you have a background working on Capitol Hill. Um, what is that interplay like between um, the states and uh, people in, in Congress and Senate working to try to get this election security and, and the financing that's needed for that? Yeah, so we've been working, um, number one, just on the stimulus to make sure that the funding is in place and is in place in a realistic amount, um, but also on the actual bills. So for example, our elections division offered edits to uh, Senator Klobuchar and Senator Wyden's mail ballot bill uh, to make sure that uh, states that are going to move to mail-in ballot uh, can do so very smoothly. We, we support the legislation and we wanna make sure it's the best legislation possible. Uh, last week, we also spoke with uh, Senator Kamala Harris. Uh, she has a new bill uh, focused on voting. So we wanna make sure that the federal legislation is tooled correctly. Um, and also we just want to 
push the idea uh, that every eligible American deserves to have their voice heard. Uh, and no American should have to really make the choice between their health and casting a ballot. Uh, so the, the federal government does need to move rapidly uh, and they need to make sure that every American can have their voice heard in November. And how we do that, frankly, is expanding mail ballot. Excellent. Well, I love the option of uh, being able to vote by mail here in Colorado. Um, so thank you so much for that. Thank you for your time today. Any final messages for people? Uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, about two months till the, the June election and almost seven until November. Um, any, any final words for people as we move towards those dates? Yeah, so I, I would just uh, really suggest updating your voter registration. Uh, we've been working with the Clerks Association. And by the way, Pitkin County's clerks, uh, Pitkin County's clerk is fantastic. Uh, Janice has been working with us on all our contingency planning, both for June and November. Uh, and we just really appreciate her leadership. Um, but I, I would just underline, we should be really proud of our election system here in Colorado. Uh, it's being seen as the model nationwide. Uh, and we need to make sure that not only are Americans protected in terms of their health, but that our democracy is also protected. Uh, you know, in both times of tranquility and crisis, our fundamental right to vote to participate in who our elected officials will be in the future does not change. Uh, so we need to make sure that every American gets the same type of access we do here in Colorado. Uh, and we cannot allow for the pandemic to be an excuse to suppress voter turnout. Well, Secretary Griswold, such a good message there. Free, fair, and open elections, obviously, uh, paramount to our democracy. So thank you so much again, and thank you for your time today. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks all of you for joining us on this daily update from the Aspen Daily News. You can join us on AspenDailyNews.com and across all of the social networks for more updates throughout the week.